This video is going to demonstrate how to pair the Brilliant BI-20X with an iPad. With the Brilliant BI-20X, the pairing process is accomplished through the Braille display, not the iPad. So let's go ahead and go through the steps. First, we're going to turn on the iPad um, and I'm going to open up the settings app. I'm already opened. I'm going to go to select accessibility in the left hand column. Control this home screen multi accessibility button. And I'm going to select it with a split tap. Now on the right hand side, um, I'm on voiceover. I'm going to go ahead and select voiceover on button. Voiceover. Accessibility back button. Now I'm going to come down. I'm just dragging my finger and using a split tap. I'm going to come down till I find Braille. Double tap voiceover speaking rate speed Braille button. There we go. And I'm going to select Braille. All right, so the Braille display is what I'm looking for, and it's at the bottom of the screen, so I'm going to scroll down, and to scroll down, I'm going to use three fingers and swipe up. Row 6 to 16 of 18. I'm going to keep going. Rows 9 to 18 of 18. All right, so now I'm just going to drag my finger down, or I could right swipe, but I'm going to look enable, for... Enable Bluetooth when choose a Braille display. Choose a Braille display. All right, that's what I'm looking for. Now that I'm on that... I'm going to go over to my Brilliant and I'm going to turn on the Brilliant and I'm going to wait for it to boot up. It says starting in Braille and then you see the little circle going round and round. That means it's booting and it does take it just a second. All right, so it opened up to terminal. If it did not open up to terminal, you can press the four chord, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, space bar, and that will take you to terminal from any place on the, the Braille display. So we're on terminal. I'm gonna use the any routing button. The routing buttons are the little round buttons above the Braille. I'm gonna press any routing button to select. Connected devices. I want to go to navigate. I want to navigate to add Bluetooth. So I'm going to use my space bar until I hear add Bluetooth. Add Bluetooth device. And if you notice, it does say that in Braille as well. Um, I am on add Bluetooth device. I'm going to press any routing button to select that. Activate your device and your host device's Bluetooth settings. Brilliant by 20x 650 billion 20 million 1983. Okay, and that long number is my serial number of this particular Brilliant. Um, now if I go back to my iPad, I was on Choose a Braille Display. If I come down, it'll tell me what is connected, um, what Braille displays I have connected. So I actually have another Braille Refresh display. Braille, 270, Brilliant BI 20X, 6500, All right, here's that long serial number. I just paused voiceover from talking. Um, it's now on the Brilliant BI-20X, and I'm going to select that by double tapping. Brilliant BI-20X, 650020 Brilliant BI-20X, 650020 Connected. Button. All right, so now it says Actions it's connected. Available. Okay, so I know it's connected on my Braille display and on my iPad now. Um, I should be able to some, just drag my finger around and the Braille should be mirrored on my iPad, on my Brilliant. Right now it is not for me. It still says Brilliant Display. So normally if I press my right panning key, that will um, finish, complete the pairing process. And it should, I'm going to go back to my home screen. It calendar, should calendar, change. February. Although for me this time it did not change and I've been having that issue where it still says Braille display and I can't use any of my cords like my one uh, my four space to navigate the home screen. Nothing's working. So my, the, the quick solution is to shut down the iPad. I'm going to go ahead and shut that down. Shut down. I'm going to hit the space bar for OK. okay. Going to use my route any routing button to select OK. 
and it's now going to shut down. Now remember, anytime that you start the Brilliant back up, you have to put it in the iPad mode. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and start my iPad, or my Braille display back up by pressing the on button. It says starting again. My little round circles are going. And what's causing this is that the Brilliant BI-20X is a standalone note taker as well as a Braille display. So after the initial pairing between the Brilliant BI-20X and the iPad, terminal. Each, yeah, it said terminal, but after it's paired, each time I turn my Braille display back on, I must go through these steps to put the Brilliant in iPad mode before the Brilliant will interact with the iPad. The iPad connected. So there, I like that. It told me I'm in terminal, terminal. mode. It told me that my iPad is connected, so I'm, um, I'm good. Uh, but let's go through those steps just to make sure that we can navigate um, the iPad using my Braille display. So I'm in terminal mode. I am going to select any router button to select terminal. Connected devices. Goes to connected devices. I want to select that, so I'm going to press the router button again. USB connection. Now I want to cycle through the menu until I find Diane's iPad. So I'm going to use my space bar. Diane's iPad. There it is. I'm going to select by using any router button. Okay. Now. Maps. I, Double tap to open. I pressed four space. I'm on the home screen of my iPad and now I'm navigating um, and you can see that the Braille is switching too. So it says maps right now in Braille. Let's navigate to the next icon I have on my home screen using four space. Camera. Camera. Double tap to open. And it shows um, camera here is, and it also popped up real quick the hint, double tap to open. If I want to go back, I'm going to use one space. Maps. Double tap go. to open. So now everything is working the way it should. 